I'm going to set the unknown grinder up with uh, 24 grams of beans. I've made it a fair bit coarser because it was way too fine. So what we're going to do is start the kettle. So we get that started. We'll start the grinder off and we'll charge the battery because I don't think it was charged. So we get that grinding. We'll make a note of the time. coffee stuff ready while it's doing whatever it does. As I say, the motor moves relatively slowly, slowly and steady, but it gets there. We don't have anything better to do. The last time I ground was about 1 minute 45, 1 minute 50 seconds. Um, I tried making it a bit finer, but I found I had to move it quite a lot. So I'm hoping now it should finish in just over a minute, but we'll see. I took the grinder apart as well and I measured the burrs. And the burrs measured about 35 mil at its widest diameter, but they're not particularly thin. Uh, thick on the outer burr, so I suppose nominally it's probably a 38 mil burr, or that's what they call it. I believe the burrs must be a press fit in because there was no way I could easily see how to get them out, but they're either pressed in, I doubt they're a screw thread or anything like that. So there we go, just over a minute and 25 seconds, I think, but it's done. Kettle's not boiled. So now it's just a waiting game for the kettle to boil. Um, I guess what I can do is weigh what came out, but it'll be the same as went in. Give it a knock in case there's the odd bean that still needs to grind. Doesn't seem to be. And now I, I'm sort of learning that if I'm going to knock this out, the grinder or brush it, best to do it over the filter paper. So I'll just put that there. Okay. I've moved the scale so I don't know if I've disturbed them. But no, we've got out pretty much exactly what we put in. So that's not a problem to within 0.1 gram. Or, or better, the scales don't have 2 gram resolution. So I'll we'll just wait. What I'll do, the water's at 60. I'll wait for it to get a bit hotter and before it's finished boiling I'll rinse out um, rinse out the picture and the paper. Hopefully this will taste even better than the previous ones tasted. So about 66. What I'll do is just quickly uh, give the paper a rinse out. That'll allow the jug to warm. There we go. And then it can carry on boiling. And I've set the kettle to 95 degrees. And once it reaches that, we'll start making our pour over. And I'll wind this up a little bit so you can get a better view of what's, what's going on. I can move this slightly. Slightly nearer so you can see the sky. But it's it's a surprisingly heavy grinder. I, I wasn't expecting it to be as heavy as it is. It works. I don't know who makes it. don't know what it's called. The burrs, when I got them out, seemed reasonable quality. Um, certainly sharp, looked well made. The longevity, I have no idea, but most people don't tend to wear burrs out in a hand grinder. and that's not something people tend to do. So what we'll do, we'll tip our coffee in, so the kettle's nearly boiled, and uh, this time got a bit smarter, and I'll brush this out over the cone so I don't make any mess. We'll have a quick feel of the grinds, see if they're... okay, they're still pretty fine. But uh, 
I don't know if I'd go coarser or not. Let's see what this brew tastes like. So we're ready. So what I've got to do uh, before I put the kettle on is empty this of the water. Turn it on. Start the timer. And I'll put about 50 grams in just to bloom. I, well, whatever is required to make sure all the coffee is wetted. If that's more than 50, I'll put in more than 50. That's it. I normally give it about 30 seconds. Meanwhile, I've boiled some eggs and empty those out into the sink. Well, not, not the eggs, but just the water. So the cooking process can stop. Okay, so it's been about 38 seconds. Now I'll just put the rest in. Not, well, not all the water. Normally now, if I'm going to make, say, 450 grams of weight, I'll, because some of it remains in this filter, I, I like to end up with about a hunt, uh, I suppose, 200 grams uh, per 12 grams. So I like to end up with 400 grams in the pot. Enough to make two mugs, if you like. Okay, let's put a bit more in. There we go. So with 300, I'll probably end up putting about 450 in, which gives me the sort of brew strength I personally like, because uh, whatever remains, there's quite a bit of weight remains in that filter. And I can tell you what that is once I lift the filter off the jug, so I'll know how many grams of liquid I've got. So it might be 450, 470 I put in. Okay, with two minutes. Put a bit more in. What I'm trying to do here, wash the coffee down the sides. 393, 405, and I'll probably go to 450. Just depends how strong I want it. There we go. And I'll be putting the coffee into one of these because I fancy drinking from one of those. Feeding my cat, if you hear any noise in the background with a bit of dry food. <coughs> Happy are you? There you go. Yeah. Enjoy those. So it's just coming up to three minutes. Um, it still hasn't finished completely. And we can check our weight quickly by just lifting. And there's 250 grams in the pot. 250 grams of liquid. So I can probably put a touch more than 450 in. So I'll probably go up to 500. There we go. That'll give me hopefully enough for two of those. Now, if you like it stronger, put less water in. So with 355, pretty much drawn down. Coffee bed's looking pretty good. And I'll take the camera off the stand so you can see that. Oh, you got it because there's bubbles obscuring the view of the coffee. I still think it could go coarser if I'm honest. Um, let's take this off and have a look. Yeah, it's still pretty fine. We lift that away. We've got 310 grams of liquid, so 
it's enough to fill two of those cups. Have a look. Yeah, that, that could be coarser still. And we'll go back to the glass. That'll be quite hot, and I've just about got a second cup left in there. I've got lids for some somewhere, but I just prefer to take these on. It's going to be hot, so I'll try a little bit. Yeah, that's way better than this coffee was before, and I think I could still go finer. But yeah, that's a big improvement. 